What's going on guys? My name is David Hamilton. However, my name is pretty irrelevant. I'm a child of God and I love Jesus Christ. Now, I love the Word of God because He's faithful and what He says is true, but I also love the Word of God because I know who the God of the Word is. And today I'm going to be talking about joy. And uh, one of the main things about joy is we are promised endless amounts of joy because He gives us endless amounts of love. And I just want to say that uh, if you understand the truth, the truth will set you free. Men have tried to study and understand who is and what is the right God, but man is man and God is God. And we've tried to consolidate all this different information about what leads to the right path or all the paths go to the same source. And honestly, we cannot figure out God because God is God. We cannot fit God in a frame. So God had mercy and loves us so much he sent his son. And his son, Jesus Christ, pursued us with everything, with no hindrances. And he went to the cross for us and died for us. And it wasn't that nails that hung him on the cross, but it was his love for us. The depth of the love that I can't even begin to fathom, however it overfills my heart. And that is what we are guaranteed is joy. And that's one of the best things about being a Christian is that we can burn that bright light because we have endless amounts of joy. Because our Father promises and guarantees as well as sustains it a million times over too. And I want to read a verse real quick. It says, you make me glad. By your deeds, O oh Lord, I sing for the joy at works of your hand. And our God has <laughs> he's made so much. He made you in your mother's womb. He knows every single hair on your head. He made the cosmos that we marvel at. He's made the mountains that we climb. He made the oceans that we swim in. I love being in nature. Like, oh, There's a small beach in South Carolina. And it's called Isle of Palms. Anyways, there's... A piece of my heart definitely at that place is uh, so much serenity that I find in that ocean. And it's just another glorifying uh, peace that God has made. And more importantly, it's us who he desires. And uh, <laughs> that also gives me so much joy just to consider that he loves us more than the angels. That we're more unique. Also, I want to talk about uh, wherever you are in your life, I know God is bigger. I guarantee it. And it speaks on maturing through persevering, through the storms. I know this too. If you're not in the middle of a storm right now, you're coming out of one or you're going back in. It's three processes. And I just want to read in James 1 verses 2 and 3. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face tr trials of many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Now that's beautiful. And I know that God want to give us something if we want to be able to handle it. However, he wants us to go to him. Like in reality, when I get a headache, do I go straight to my Tylenol or do I pray about it? You know, how much faith do I have? Do I have that radical faith? that steps out and asks and seeks only for him and remains solely dependent on him. Another thing is, is the storms. There's two sets of storms. Storms that we can't control and then the other storms that we put on ourselves as Christians. By going in certain situations or doing certain things, especially if you have habitual sin in your life, you're opening so many self-inflicted storms. It's incredible. That amount, but God's grace is sufficient and his love is never ending. So no matter where you are, guess what today is? It's the first day for the rest of your life. Get up, run, persevere, go after God because he's there for us to deliver us every single time. I also want to read Acts 2, 26 through 28. It says, therefore, my heart... <laughs> is glad and my tongue rejoices my body also will live in hope because you will not abandon me to the grave nor will you let your holy one see decay you've made known 
to me the paths of life. You will fill me up with joy in your presence. And I don't know if you've ever experienced the presence of God, but it is breathtaking. It's overwhelming. It's beautiful. And abundant life is guaranteed to us. I just want to speak a little bit about joy today. And I uh, truly hope that you continue to walk and persevere because he persevered for us, for everything. He didn't stop once. And so let us pray real quick. And I want to ask, you know, God to bless you and your family immensely because these things are promised to us. So let us bow our hearts in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for who you are. Thank you for allowing us to see another day and allow us to honor you today and to make an impact in your holy kingdom. For your love sustains and your grace covers all. Let us speak truths into other people's lives for you have spoken truth into our life. Thank you for showing us the truth, the way and the life through you, Jesus. Your holy name saves, it breaks chains and it delivers. For that we thank you. I ask all who hear this are blessed immensely, not with a big TV, not with more couches or furniture, but to know you and what your presence brings. Because your presence brings true life, endless amounts of life with abundant joy that's guaranteed. So thank you for this opportunity and for the people here. We, I ask this in your holy name, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys and much love for your brother. Bye.